Okay, good morning class. So at this point we're looking at uh, geometry. Just wrapping up. From 2.1, is that correct? This geometry exercise on page 158. Okay, so when do we start? We start by saying, as you can see, it's angles in a triangle. So you're going to say 70 plus 68 plus x equals 180y, sum of triangles. And this triangle, A, B, C. Okay, you don't have to say that triangle is. I just need you some good habits. Okay. No. Okay. No. You won't lose them off, you don't gain them. Okay. You can leave that up. But you take the right thing. Okay. So to make x the subject of the formula, say so x is equal to 180 minus 70 minus 68. What's 180 minus 70? 118 minus 68. 42 degrees. Okay. 42. Okay. 42 degrees. Okay. Let's look at the next one. is equal to sum of the two interior opposite. Not so? So 110 degrees equals 42 plus 1. The reason? Exterior angle of triangle. Dot, 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 which means to say exterior angle of triangle equals the sum of the two interior opposite. Why are you playing musical chess? Okay. So what happens? So x is the angle of triangle, means you say x is the angle of triangle equal to sum of the two the opposite, and that is triangle ABC. Not so? Now we're going to solve for y. Look at O is equal sign. So y is equal to 110 degrees minus 42 degrees. Just give me an answer of 68 degrees. Six is not next, but since it's cut like that, do two point six first. So in two point six, are you solve for B? So angle C is twenty eight degrees. Yes. So why? Angle is opposite the equal side. So angle C is equal to sixty eight degrees. Twenty eight degrees. Did we have to say that? Yes. yes. Why? Because that's not on the diagram. <coughs> okay. If it's not on the diagram, it must be safe. What do we didn't say from here? Okay, say 28 degrees plus 28 degrees plus B is equal to 180. 180. Why? Sum of triangles. And this triangle is equal to 180. C A B. Okay. Which now gives me B is equal to 180 minus 28 minus 28, which is 56. So it's uh, 110. 
So it can be worked up here. A. A is equal to 60 degrees. Why? Corresponding. Can you all see the F there? Okay. Corresponding. Corresponding angles. The D E being paired out to B C. Now what? B is equal to 71. Also because the F is like that way. Can you see that people? So B is equal to 70 degrees. Corresponding angles with D E being paired out to B C. Okay. Any confusion here? This way? Any confusion? No? Two point three. Right, so what can be done in two point three? Exterior angle of triangle, not so. So this angle here is equal to that angle plus that angle. So Z is equal to 59 degrees plus 51 degrees. Why? It's exterior angle of triangle. Dot, dot, dot. Which means to say exterior angle of triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior angles. Okay? And it's the exterior angle of triangle PQR. Okay, so Z works out to be 100 degrees. Okay, 2.4. Okay, in 2.4, what can we say? E. That X E. E is equal to? 73 degrees. Why? Angles opposite. Equal side. Do I have to go with some of the angles here afterwards? No. Why not? There's no variable there. It's by angle A. Can you see that, people? So we're not going to do anything like that. Okay, 2.8 Ready? X is equal to 58 degrees Y Corresponding Can you all see the F there? Corresponding angle so X is equal to 58 degrees Corresponding angles With GH being parallel to E Okay. Now what? Why? Can you all see the, the, the UV form there? So 71 degrees plus Y, Y plus 71 is equal to 180. Coming here angles. The GH being parallel to here. So y is equal to 180 minus 71, which is 109. Sorry? Is that correct? Okay, 
again is 2.8 the 2.9 what can, what, we, what can be calculated here? A so A is equal to? 72 as you can see the F being formed, it correspond A is equal to 72 degrees Corresponding angles with AB A, being parallel to EC or C. 72 degrees. Are you calculate B? B plus 72 plus 40 equals 180. Why? So I'm applying this morning. That is triangle CED. Okay, you all agree with that? So B is going to be 180 minus 40 minus 72, which is 68. Are you going to calculate C? 68 degrees. Why? That is possible. Or how else could I have calculated it? Did you forget? Okay, so 68, yes. Why? We said corresponding angles with AB being parallel to EC or I could have gone with some of the triangles again. You all agree with that? So there we go. So we use corresponding angles. Okay. Any confusion there? Point five, what can we say? Angle if okay, as you can see, those lengths are equal. So, angle if is equal to 65 degrees. Why? Angles opposite equal sides. Okay, so if this is now 65, what can we How can we calculate A? A plus. 65 plus adds up to 180. A plus 65, yes, plus 65 equals 180. Sum of triangles and this triangle D E F. So A is equal to 180 minus 65 minus 65, which is uh, 130, so it's going to give you 50 degrees. Is that correct? Okay. Why, why didn't you throw this up? This is not the second time that I did it with the one. Now, let show me. But now, your match was lost. Then I gave you 2.2. 11 to 2.22. So is that? But how could you have lost? When did you lose the measure? And that's it, I hadn't gave you the work. Yes. Not so? Yes. So you didn't do the work again? Right, so what can we do 2.10? Right, so what can we do 2.10? Remember this is an exterior angle. So 132 uh, is equal to angle E plus this angle C here. 
E plus angle C. Not so. But I don't know what C is. What is C? E. e. So angle C is equal to E. Why? Angles opposite equal sides. There's an E here. So what can I say now? 132 is equal to E plus E. Why? Exterior angle of triangle. Which means to say the exterior angle of triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. And this is triangle ABC. So that's going to be 2 E is equal to 132 degrees. Divided by two both sides? 60. 60, 60. Okay. So that was the one day zone. Okay, not so? I'll stop the video and I'll do a different video for the next. Well, I'll do it in between. Okay, so I gave you um, 2.11 to 2. Point 20 to do as well, no? Because of the one lesson, we uh, were doing the past cycle test exam. Not so. No, we sorted out the admin and all of those things. Right, so in 2.11, what do we do here? Okay. Now you see there are many angles at C. Can you see that? Not only one angle at C. So if you just say angle A, oh sorry, angle C, then it could be that angle, could be that angle, could be that angle there, could be that angle, it could be that angle. Can you see? There are many angles and many more angles at C. And you can go into the reflex and all of those things. So in order to, to label it properly and let the examiner know which angle you're referring to, you must name it from. So we're saying that this angle is A. Not so? And why is that angle A? Because its angles opposite? Equal sides. So to name that angle, we either say C, I'm sorry, A, C, B. By putting that the thing on top there, we need to say angle A, C, B. Which means to say the angle is ang at angle B. Can you see that? Or you could have named it B, C, A. A, A C, B and B, C, A is the same. Okay, you guys understand? The angle that you're referring to, that um, vertex um, um, letter must be in the middle. Can you see that, people? It has to be in the middle. So how do we answer that? We will say that angle takes out here. We're going to say that angle B is A B C A is equal to A. Why? Angles opposite equal sides. That's all. Now what? So how are we going to calculate angle A now? A plus A plus 50 equals 180Y. Go into the angles. Can you all see that? A plus A plus 50 equals 180. Go into the angles. Okay, there's another way, but I'll speak about that now. But this is the this is quicker. Okay, so you say a plus a plus fifty equals one hundred eighty degrees. Going to the angles with DC. Oh, yeah, I'm adding AB first. AB is parallel to. D, C, or C. Okay. So A plus A is 2A is equal to 180. 
minus 50. What's 80? 180 minus 50? 150 divided by 2. Instead of doing that, I could have said that this angle is also a Y for the spawning angles. Can you see that? Then you would have said DCE. And then you go with A plus 50 plus A is equal to 180. Angles in a straight line. That, that you would have gotten the full marks as well. Yes, my goal. Here's another way of doing it. Nice. What she did was, she first worked out angle A now. Alternate angle. So angle A. So now you see there's only one angle at A, so it's just an angle A. It's equal to 50 degrees. This is alternate angles. With A B being parallel to DC. And then you wait with sum of triangles. Is that correct? Yes. You get the same answer for A, which is 65. Okay? You all understand? Right. We get 1.12, um, 2.12. What do you have in 2.12? What can be done first? Angle? If. Not so. so. Angle if is equal to? Or if. Sorry, not angle if. It's actually angle C. But if is equal to? 75 degrees. Why? Angles opposite equal sides. So that's 75 degrees. Now what? Sorry? Do we need angle B then? In that triangle A, uh, B, C, D? Do we need an angle to calculate E? No, we don't. But looking in the other triangle, what do you see? You see an equal at, um, a sausage triangle as well. So what does that mean? Angle A, D, B, or B, D, A? Angle DBA, uh, BDA is equal to E. Why is that E? Because angles opposite equal sides. Are you going to calculate E now? Equals 180. Right, so E plus E plus 40 degrees equals 180 sum of triangles and it's triangle ABD E plus E is 2E e. equals 180 minus 40 which is 140 now what? divide by 2 both sides so E is going to give you 70 ok Point sixteen. Where do we start here? Yeah. If Q R is Q R, yes? Seventy. Why? Right, so yes, there's a good start. So you can simply add that in seventy. So you say SQR is equal to 70 degrees. Angles opposite equal sides. Okay. Now what? X plus 50 equals 71. 
you see that another time. Did you see that before? The 68 angles equal to some of the 20 levels. Okay. So 70 degrees is equal to x plus 50. Exterior angle of triangle equals the sum of the two interior opposite and the exterior angle of triangle P Q is we get over so it will be 70 degrees minus 50 degrees equals X so X works out to be 20 degrees okay you should note these as you're doing this more and more what you notice is becoming easier okay. there's a section that you must work um, extra hard in, okay just to be able to see all the rules that comes into play and stuff like that okay isn't it, the section is not perfect it just needs a lot of practice no? with the with more practice you do, the more easy it will be. It's not impossible to understand how to do it. Just look at the next one, what can be done here? X equals 62 y. Corresponding answer. You all see the F? Can you all see that? So we're going to say X is equal to 62 degrees corresponding angles with CD being parallel to AB. Now what? Now what do we do? <coughs> Why is equal to? Why plus 62 plus 90 equals? Why? Straight line. Straight line. Let's check. You're using that straight line, but you're shorting that angle. Or you're using the other one, okay? Let's go the other way. This way. Yes. So you're not shorting that angle still? It's absolutely vertical. You're absolutely correct. But is it on the diagram? No. That angle is not marked 90. So what does that mean? Well, it could be 90. It is 90. But since it's not on the diagram, we must state it. Can you see? We must state the angle first. So before we go on the angles of the straight line, we say if O D. Well, yeah, you see that O D means to say that that vertex, this vertex here, is O. You guys understand? Oh, so you were confused then. So you couldn't name it properly, okay? So F of E is equal to 90. Why? It's vertically opposite. Now we can say Y plus 90 plus 62 equals 180. Why? Angles on a straight line. So Y is equal to 180. Minus 90, minus 62, which is 28. Remember, if you're going to leave this out, you're going to lose two marks or a mark. Okay. So very important to write that. Yes, Michael. So, so that means that the angle at B is also 28. The angle at B yes, is 28. Why? It is 28, yes, but why? You're saying since that is 28, this is also 28. Why? 
Not O, it's an F. Oh, this one. But do I need to say that? No. Why? Because I have not mark. Otherwise, what you could have done was, instead of going that route, I could have said that angle B was Y. Not so? Why? Because why? It's got a spawning angle. See, that could have said 90 plus Y plus 62 equals 180. Why? That's another way you could have looked at this option. Okay, any other comment on this question? No? Let's carry on with our lives. 2.13. Right, where can we start here? Uh, X, B, Y. This angle is equal to what? X, Y. So you say X, B, Y. So equal to X, Y. Angles, opposite, equal sides. Now what can we do? 36 plus X plus X equals 180Y. Sum of triangles. This triangle, XYP. So 2X is equal to 180 minus 36, which is 144 degrees. Now what? Divide by two both sides, so x is equal to? 72. Now what? Pursuit of calculating y. Sorry? Can I just say y? What is the name of that angle? Z? Y? P? O? P? Y? Z? Let's get you your naming of this, uh, of this angles pro, uh, right now. Yeah? So it's going to be P, Y, Z equal to 72 degrees. Why? Why? Angles opposite equal sides. Now what do we say? 72 degrees plus 72 degrees plus y is equal to 180y sum of triangles. This triangle YPZ. So you're going to get y is equal to 180 minus 72 minus 72, which is 144. Not so. So y is equal to. Confusion here? Any comment? Okay, so what can be done here? Sorry? Angle, B is equal to C, yes. But it's actually AC, B is equal to B, yeah? But what else? C, A, D, yes? 44 degrees. Because you say that's 44 degrees. Okay, so that's going to give you the AC is equal to 44 degrees. Why? 
angles opposite equal what else A C B S is equal to 44 plus 44 why exterior angle is equal to sum of two interiors can you see that people So you're going to say ACB, change of color, ACB is equal to 44 degrees plus 44 degrees. Why? Because that's exterior angle of triangle. Dot, dot, dot. So exterior angle of triangle is equal to sum of two interior opposite. And it's triangle ACT, the exterior angle of ACD. So ACB is equal to 88 degrees. Now what? Angle B is also 88. Why? Angles opposite equal sides. So I'm going to calculate E. Yes, why? So I'm going to try and it says E plus 88 plus 88 is equal to 180. Sum of triangles and it's triangle ACB. So E is equal to 180 minus 88, which is 92, minus 88 is Four. Okay, people will find like this quite a bit of marks here. Yes, Michael? So, what happens here with that, like on the AC that the triangle? This here? No. Did we just know what you're talking about? But that means to say angle. Okay. Yes? Whose angles? Is it an angle or a line? The, the, this here, you see, that is your angle. Yeah? But I'm just putting that is angles. Well, you can leave it up. The apostrophe. Oh, yeah. Leave it up, doesn't it? But suppose, how would I put like a line that is? I didn't know what it was. That's apostrophe. Okay. Anything else? You guys getting this? <laughs> yeah. Most of you did well in your exam and it came to the geometry, so. So I hope it, it continues like that. Yeah? Right, so let's look at 2.18. What can we see here? 2.18. Okay, we said at this point. Sorry? A? C, D. So we can work. No, we can't work that thing. Okay, this angle here, ACD is equal to angle BAC. Why? So I'll turn it in. Can you all see that? I'll turn it in. So I actually need to calculate BAC first. But we know that angle BAC, that angle is equal to angle B. Why is that the case? Angles opposite equal sides. Not so. Now we can say that angle B plus BAC plus 58 is equal to 180. Why? 
So our triangle is not so. Yeah, interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180. So what we say is, since I want that angle CAB, so I say CAB or BAC plus, I could have written angle B, but angle B is actually the same as CAB. Why didn't I write the B there? Because then I have one unknown. Okay, yes, Michael. Okay, we can talk about that afterwards. Plus 58 degrees equals 180. Why? Why is it equal to 180? Some of triangles. And that is triangle CAB. Okay? So 2CB plus 2, um, sorry, 2CAB um, plus CAB is 2. CAB equals 180 minus 58, which is 128 degrees. Okay? Is that correct? 122. Yes, 122. So CAB, how do we get that on the zone? Divide by 2. So CAB works out to be 61. Okay, so this is 61. And this is 61. Now what do we do with that? Sorry? Now your alternate angles come into play. Not so? This angle is 61 degrees. So you say that A, C, D is equal to 61 degrees. Why? Alternate angles with B, A being parallel to C, D. Now what can we say? What can we do now? Now we sum of triangles. Not so? So you said A plus 61 plus 85. You're all quiet, but you did the sum yesterday with Ms. Carras. Sorry? And the reason here is sum of triangles, and it's triangle CAD. So A is equal to 180 minus 85, which is 95 minus 61. Which is 30? Right, so which approach is going to this use? Sorry? Okay, so let's, let's check that way quickly. I think mean, that's actually easier. Going going to it would have been easier. Huh? B, A, C? B? A, C, yeah? Yeah? Which equal to X. Which equal to X. So he's bringing an X into the, to the diagram. Okay, so if we had to first say, let angle B equal X. That's where you had to stop. Okay, otherwise we don't know where X is coming from. Okay? So you said that is x, and you use angles opposite equal sides. Is that correct? Yes. Sir. Right. Which make that x. Okay. And then. So you got x to be 61, yes, which is that. Yes, exactly the same way. Did it? Yes. So you say. Let me now 61. So you're saying there's your point here. Right, so from here he said that so you got up until then. And he said 61 plus x plus a. No. 85, I suppose. 61 plus 85 plus a is equal to 180. Coming to the angles with a b. 
be bad now to CD. So A is going to work out to be 180 minus 85, which is 95, minus 61, which gives us uh, 34. Okay, so that's the only extra line I have. No. So you were saying going from here straight into that. Huh? It's fine. But the reason why I'm taking steps between is because not everybody is so fast. Right, this method cuts one line out. Okay. Nice. And just don't forget when you bring a variable in, when you bring your x into a diagram, you must say which angle is x. Okay? Very important. Two point nineteen. <coughs> Where do we start here? Okay, we got like five minutes left, so we just need to wrap up with me. Where do we start here? We can work out angle. Okay, so that angle and this angle is x. Not so, and x is the same as that angle, so we'll turn it in. Do you agree with that? So we need to first work out this angle, which is A, B, D, or we can uh, uh, follow the x first. Doesn't matter. Okay? So let's go with the x first. So we're going to say that B, D, C is equal to x. Why? Angles, opposite, equal sides. Okay? Then that is x. Why? Alternate angles. So you say A, B, D is equal to x. So alternate angles, with A, B being parallel to D, C. Now what can we work with? Sum of triangles. Can you see that? So it's 102 plus 20 plus x equals 180. Sum of triangles is triangle ADB. So x is equal to 180 minus 102, which is 78. No? <coughs> minus 20 is going to be um, 50, uh, 58. Just check it out, right? Huh? Is it correct? Did you guys manage to do the sum? Why not? Confused? Huh? You confused? Sorry? Coming to end. You also use coming to end. Let's see. Again, it would have been easier. Why am I not seeing the coming to every time? For some reason, I'm not picking up coming to in the previous question, I didn't pick it up either. So uh, you would have firstly said that this is x, so that's the, the, the one line you would have said. Then I could have gone straight into the fact that it's going to be. Huh? So 20 plus 102 plus x is equal to 180. Go interior with AB being parallel to DC x is equal to 180 minus 102 minus 20, which is 58 again. And then again, that is my one extra step. Now you see, when we set up the memo, okay, then we, we work out the shortest possible route. So if you, in like, in this case, I had an extra step here. So I don't get the extra mark. So I'm still only worth five marks. Understand? So the extra working out you do, just um, in pursuit of you calculating or the route that you are following. But like I said, when we work out the memo, then we normally work out the shortest route, and that's how we allocate the marks. Okay. But yes, then you are correct. I overlooked this one again. Okay. Two point fifteen. Second last one. 
Sebab dia berjaya We can say firstly that this angle is A Not so Angle D is A, why? Angles opposite Equal sides Now what can we say? We can say that if GE, that angle, is equal to what? Huh? 2x. 2a, sorry. Why? Exterior angle of triangle. Dot, dot, dot. And it's the exterior angle of triangle DEG. Okay? Now what can we say? Angle F is equal to 2a. So angle F is equal to 2a. Why? Angles opposite equal sides. Now what can we say? 2a plus 66 plus 2a is equal to 180. 2a plus 2a plus 66 equals 180. Sum of triangles says triangle G E F or F E G U. They get over the equal sign, so two A plus two A is four A. It's equal to one eighty minus sixty six, which is one one four. Is that correct? Huh? Yes. Yes, divided by four both sides. So A is two eight point five, I think. Goes uh, twice, carry three. Thirty-two is eight. Point five is good. Eight point five. Okay. Let's do the last one before the bell rings. Two point twenty. Okay. We do start here. Yeah. 118 plus A plus 32 is equal to? 180. 118 plus A plus 32 equals 180. Reason? Angles in a straight line. Absolutely. So it's a straight line. Okay. So A is equal to 180 minus 32, which is 148. Minus 118 gives you? 28. You all agree with that? Huh? Yes. yes. Okay. That's 28. Now what? <coughs> is equal to 28. Why? Ulterior. <coughs> Alternative. So B is equal to 28. Is alternate angles. And it's uh, the fact that AD is parallel to Yes? So it is at 30 degrees. Now why have you not asked you in the 80? You said yes, it's right. Point 
And I found work. You guys have made notes already with regards to the point that it's not so much. I need you guys to redraw this in your books. Didn't I okay, give you this yet to do? No. Right, so page 15. Your homework is to redraw that in your books, okay? And you're going to make all these notes here. We'll speak about the point that looks tomorrow. You can enjoy the seminar if you want to Somebody that they had to do, okay? Hi, there, how are you doing? Hi, Good, so good. Yes? There's a possibility that if the boards break, my father might come and drop things off. For us? So okay, nice. No, <laughs> so I might have to run to the office. Not for us? No, so it's my office. Thank you. Got it, thank you. Morning, how are you They got your maths books people, if you don't mind. Now with you guys, no?
Thank you.